Red poles are small arctic finches that make their way south into the United States during the winter. They have characteristic red markings on their forehead, and how far south they travel varies from year to year based on food availability. Two red pole species, the common and hoary red pole, are very similar, and some birders argue that they aren't actually different species. For now, the two species remain separate, and knowing the small ID features can mean the difference between picking out a hoary red pole and assuming it's just another common. Since the ID features can be subtle and subjective, it's best to keep in mind multiple ID features and take lots of photos of the bird in question for others to review. All in all, a common red pole will exhibit much more streaking on their body compared to a hoary. The heavy streaking will be present in a common red pole on their flanks, rump, and undertail coverts, and will be faint or absent in hoary red poles. Overall, hoary red poles will have a more frosted appearance, whereas the common red pole will have more tan and brown coloration. Additionally, hoary red poles may have a stubbier, more pushed-in bill compared to the common red pole, and will normally have less red on the crown. The red may also be closer to the front of the forehead on a hoary red pole, and their face may even have a pushed-in appearance. Male common red poles may also show red on the chest, where male hoary red poles will have little to no red on the chest. And if they do, it'll be much more washed out. Here to explain the differences a little further is winter finch expert Matt Young. So. I think there's three or four main points that you need to, you know, people need to accomplish to, to basically identify Ori Ripple. Take lots of photos, A, of many angles. And the, the three or four things you want to make sure you get are, as best you can, are shots of the rump, uh, the undertail coverts. You know, you want basically undertail coverts to have little or no streaking or very thin line streaking and you want the rump to be pretty white too and relatively unstreaked the other piece of it is obviously you want a frosty backed bird but you know sometimes they're not super super frosty um and you know this is a lot of people point to the bill size and there is you know and i've been kind of pushing the whole you know Bill size is a little bit, people over rely on that tree because if, if you look at the, some of the data that was published on it is the significance in the bill size. I think, again, I might have this, it's getting a little bit late, but it, I think it's just largely in the females. Um, but the bill, there's a lot of overlap in the bill size. So it's not always a small, tiny bill. Um, it can be, a, a common size bill. So again, frosty, take a lot of photos, frosty backed, clean undertail coverts or relatively clean undertail coverts, clean rump. And you want somewhat of a small ish diminutive bill that kind of gives it a steep sloped forehead look. There's some other trades, certainly uh, sometimes, you know, or at least, you know, more common than not, you have a reduced size of the pole, the red pole. Um, you also have a widening or whitening of the wing bar is another one. And the red will be reduced in more of a rosy hint than a red on the breast for males. You know, some, you know, you get sometimes more of a, a buffier look to the face. It's the, it's the immature females where the overlap starts to happen mostly. And the birds, you know, the, the characteristics can start to overlap. And, and my big thing, one of the big things I've been trying to kind of press upon people this, this fall is, you know, you kind of go through the criteria that I just laid out there. And if you have those three or four traits, you pretty much got to worry. But again, you want to get photographs. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure, though, that you don't, just because you might not have a trait, it does not then therefore become a common red bull. And people automatically default. If well, I don't have all five trades or four trades of Hori, it must be a common. And it's not necessarily the case. Those particular birds, which, again, a service that the Finch Research Network hopes to, to kind of you know, continue is me and a couple people at the end of the season, as these are put into eBird as what we've been proposing, proposing to people is put them in as like common slash hoary red poles. 
and we will try to go through them at the end of the season. If there's enough photos to okay. adequately assess, we will try to then identify those or, or fine tune some of these birds in the middle a bit more. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching this episode of ID Tips. Yeah.